everyone. Welcome. This is Tavo DRC, Pastor T, Dr. T over the Cross by the Unity. We're out here in the Brist of Fellowship. You hear, you hear the multitudes and crowds of fellowshipping persons. Uh, I'm talking about definitions and words that we often hear about ministry, mostly controlling ministry, just, you know, dystopian, no, no, ministry that is popular. So there's a difference between the last days falling away. This is my opinion. I'm submitting it as a sila in respect. But just stir it up. Shake it up. All right. There is the last days falling away. Then there's the perilous times last day of Apostle Paul saying to turn away. And that would include ministry as well if it has the following fruits that Paul mentioned of 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, really 6, and 1 Timothy 6, 5. You may read that and deliberate on it, and then if you're a pastor or a teacher or a mother or somebody, train on it so we can not have that in churches and fellowships. So there is a quite a difference between someone who's never met somebody like myself or your opinion or different opinions such as they're not submitted, they're not under covering, they're not, you know, affiliated, they're not, or whatever. And because we know big boss ministry and law, that's really pretty much the generation that's out there, charismatic maybe, because they got to keep track. They got to know who's over who. So, of course, it's sort of, I wasn't raised like that. And so I got my Bible. I thought, Lord, I've never heard of this till I crossed over to study the charismatics. And many of them are fine. You can have three kinds of charismatics right now after 46, you know, a long time of study. You can have the fruit that represents the, the, um, the Enoch, the first love, holy fear of the Lord, respectful, diverse, honoring their mothers and their fathers. Everybody's equal. The real charismatics, which are the ones, you know, the Bride of Christ, the uh, Enochs, all right. Then we can have the Demas. The Demas is more like into power, pride, position, and potentates, and the things of this world. And last would be the worst evil eye, partly heretic, partly ready to go, you know, being judged, which is the first Samuel boys club or girls club, which could be the fruit. Not all are like that, but it could look like it. They don't have to be. You've got to look at the fruit of First Samuel that brought down, that incurred God's judgment. They didn't value people. They didn't respect people or God's offering, but really, they mentioned females back then. The LP, they were LPs, all right. But God looked at them because they didn't value his people, male or female, when they came to church to fellowship. And a lot more I don't have time for. So we can have evaluation based on doctrine, based on principle, and based on fruit. And I'm trying to get to the fruit that remains in Ephesians 4, excuse me, Ephesians 4 for community safety, but also Ephesians 5, when I chat GPTAI in July of 23 to make that clear, I said, were there authoritarians controlling authoritarians in the first church, or was it all mutual submission in the fear of the Lord, Ephesians 5.21, in leaders, offices, fellowship, ministry, and in married family, husband and wife, and it said it was. Then I asked, well, why did, when did authoritarianism, totalitarianism control doctrines like that come into the first church? And it said... It said, after the influences of Rome and Greece, Hellenism got into the first church. So we're working on this big boss stuff now to, you know, co correct, deliver, inform. But also, there are, not putting the blame or accusation, because there are different personalities that God needs. You need a strong, forceful kind. You need the more, you know, the, the uh, persuasive. I'm a persuasive. Persuasive is like, in definitions, it's not dominating. But it has to be fierce, so it's not dominated by this kind of all-wise controlling personality, you know, that are off in their doctrine that fit the fellowship dysfunction description, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, turn away, the freedom from turn away. So if you go after, and also 1 Timothy 6, 5, we're just submitted to Paul Gold Council. We're doing it on behalf of reproving, correcting, informing the body, the true people, so that God doesn't bring judgment on some. You can hear the raucous 
fellowshipping going on at the Barista Fellowship. Okay, it's it's always packed, you know, many places. So we're encouraging people to hear God for themselves. All right, so if I were to say, because people have big boss rules and all the people after them and they all look for this, are they covered? There is no such thing as official covering in the New Testament church. I go, you know, I've already researched that. There is such a thing, and I believe in it, chain of command for order. And sometimes you have to be strong and more forceful, and sometimes you have to be just low-key. So there is more military type, you know, not controlling, but you can have a Solomon, and you can have a Mother Teresa, you can have in-between, boot camp, whatever God needs, because some people don't have a soul to correct them or discipline. Some need mercy. So it's your your call, you know, your opinion, you're hearing God for yourself, but not to automatically accuse people who are not like your style. With that being said, let me say this, as a Galatians, this is, this is an office, Galatians 1, 1 and 2, similar to Paul, an apostle not sent out by any one person, any one group, I and the brothers and sisters that are with me, leaders out collaborating in the field. So I can go cross-body unity. That's cross-body unity. And many it's a prototype for those who need it in the days in which we live of dysfunction and control. But I'm not trying to make it over you. This is not over you. It's not. It's not under you. This is a collaborative option if you need to talk, chat. I'm not saying you will. I don't want anyone under me. One reason, I learned from the last patriarchal move of God, the last 50 years, 40 years, I learned if people, if, if there's a training that says you got to be under somebody to be an authentic, real, valid minister that we respect and not accuse, I was sent to study as an embed to know the fruit of that teaching. And the big people that teach it or think they you know, know about it, you do not know how people use that to trade upon your name. They may add witchcraft, they may add racism, they may add big boss taking money. And uh, the implication in the grassroots is that if I say I'm under brother or sister or pastor so-and-so, white, black, or brown, then they could be out in the field making a big name out there, but really embarrassing humiliating and defiling the top person and that is what I want you to know with love submitted with love not all of them that's why out here you got to know your fruit you got to know your doctrine and you got to go through trouble <laughs> if you run into dysfunction and steely controlling doctrine or witchcraft or people who jump you I mean really it is just it's just the law the law gone wild. If you want to see the law in New Testament times and fellowships or people ministry, remember this. Levitical means critical. They're going to be looking to see, catching your flaws, you're not submitted, never speaking, rumoring a lot of the big boss fruit in the people and the top. I would never hurt anybody by reviling you. But that same type of ministry law reviles people, word curses them. Listen, it is, I'm for the people. I'm not for this. I'm for the top people, not to hurt them and respect them, but I am for the people now. It is that bad trying to fellowship and obey Paul, Ephesians, excuse me, uh, Hebrews 1, Hebrews 10, 25, go to church without the dysfunctional turn away from two other types. Now, when I find people, I believe in being accountable. I believe in being in fellowship. I believe in letting people speak into my life because I've always done that. But I will not, I'll not tolerate dominating big boss, hierarchical, occult, or power playing control with misogyny. I will not. And so just get used to it. But we're here as a wise counselor, advice giver, respect everybody, don't gossip. We're here black and white. I've had many years of diverse urban suburban as well as hierarchical and swarm ministry and fellowshipping experience and we're pro the body but we're pro unity and functional not dysfunctional pro unity more there is a last day coming we're in it we're not this is not playtime this is more like being a soldier in the army of the lord without hurting anybody not military with armor but just god's whole armor on 
wrestling not against flesh and blood.